Hello, here's a detailed tutorial on installing and using my HD Picture CE program. If you want to skip to certain parts of this video, timestamps are available. I'd like to cover a few things before we begin. First, I'd like to make clear that this video is of a beta. There may be slight variations in these steps in the future. If there are any big changes, I will be sure to comment them below. If this video is outdated, you will see a card appear in the right hand corner of this video right now. Second, I'd like to cover compatibility. This program is compatible with any type of TI-84 Plus CE and any type of TI-83 Premium CE. Third, this video assumes you have downloaded the program from GitHub and have TI Connect CE already installed. Fourth, TI Connect CE was only designed for Windows and Mac. If you are using Linux, use TILP instead. Also, my converter was designed for Windows. If you are on Linux or Mac, use Wine to run the converter. Manual conversion works on all three OS's and is shown in this video. Lastly, if you want to keep up with the updates on this project, feel free to check my progress thread over on chemitech.net. Okay, enough disclaimers. Let's get into the tutorial. When you download the program, everything will be in a zip file. You need to extract everything from the zip file for it to function properly. Once it's finished, open up the extracted folder. Be sure to check out the README file. It contains everything you need to know about this entire project. Now navigate to the Compiled Displayers folder. You should see the hdpic v.8xp file in there. Now open up TI Connect CE and connect your calculator to your computer. Now simply drag and drop the file onto your calculator's name. A pop-up will appear showing you send options. There's only a few things you need to check. First, look at the OS version your calculator has. It should be underneath the calculator's name. If it shows OS 5.3 or higher, then you should leave the location as archive. If it shows an OS lower than 5.3, then you should cancel the transfer and update your calculator. Click on the card above if you need to help with that. Second, be sure your calculator is selected for the file to be sent to. Finally, be sure the replace existing content with the same name is checked. Finally, press send. Once the file sends, navigate to the example images folder, then enter the releases folder. Here you will see three files. These are example images known to be compatible with the HTPIC B program you just sent to your calculator, so they're good for troubleshooting if something's gone wrong. If you have a lot of programs or files already on your calculator, you make it a screen that says garbage collecting or defragmenting. This is normal because the picture files are so large, the calculator may have to declutter the archive memory to make space for them. Now how do you get your own images on the calculator? There's two ways. It's pretty easy if you use my converter. The second way, which is manual conversion, is much more difficult. I'll show both ways, but here's how the converter works first. First, you need to select an image you want to convert. Second, you need to edit that image using any image editing software. In this case, I'm using Microsoft Paint. Make the image you chose at most 320 pixels wide and at most 240 pixels tall. Anything smaller than that is acceptable, however, 320 by 240 images look the best on the calculator, so you may want to crop or resize your image for the best results. Next, you need to name your file, preferably 8 characters or less. Third, you must save it as a PNG file. This is important since my converter only accepts PNG files. Now that your image is prepped, it's time to navigate to the HDPIC converter folder. Double click on hdpictureconverterce.exe to run the converter. When the program starts, click on Select Images, then navigate to the image you want to convert, select it, then click Open. You'll see a black window appear. When it disappears, that means it's finished. You can now click on Open Converted Images. This will pull up or activate the window where the converted images are located. Now here's the manual conversion way, and it's much more tedious. You don't need to do this step if you use the converter I wrote. First, choose the image you want to convert. Second, edit that image using any image editing software. In this case, I'm using Microsoft Paint. What we'll be doing is splitting the image in two halves. Edit the image so it is at most 160 pixels wide and 240 pixels tall. Then save that image under the file name LEFT with a capital L. Now edit the image again to get the other half and save it under the file name RIGHT with a capital R. Make sure that you're saving them both as PNG files since that's the only type of file the converter supports.
When you have both have saved, move them to the folder that contains the program Windows underscore conspng.exe. Then open up the conspng.ini file with any text editing software. In this case, I'm using Notepad. Now follow my directions as I edit the INI file so it will convert the images you just saved. You can leave most of it alone, but you must change the following. This line can be named anything you want as long as it's 8 characters or less. For easy readability, I'm naming it to something descriptive and just adding an L because this line is handling the left image. For the next line, you must leave the first 8 characters alone. The 8 characters I'm changing will be the name of the image as you see it in the program. When you've changed the name, make sure the entire line is exactly 16 characters. Add underscores if it's less than 16 characters. Now copy the name you chose. You'll be using it later. For this next line, change the name to anything you'd like as long as you didn't use it above, and it's 8 characters or less. I'm adding an R because it's handling the right image. The next line utilizes the name you copied. Delete the last 8 characters and paste in the name you copied. Check to make sure it's still exactly 16 characters. Next line, change this name to whatever you'd like as long as you didn't use it above. The last line you need to change also utilizes the name you copied above. Delete the last 8 characters and paste in the name you copied. Check to make sure that it's still exactly 16 characters. Be sure to save the file, then run conf.png. You'll see a black window appear for a few seconds. When it disappears, that means it's finished converting. If you get an error, open up the conf.png.log file with any text editor to see what went wrong. Now that you've got the files converted, open TIConnectCE, then drag and drop all of the .adxv files onto your calculator. If you get an error that says not enough space, try deleting files you're not using and trying to send the files again. If the issue persists, then you've run out of flash pages and you need to delete some picture files before sending new ones. You don't need to know what flash pages are, you just need to know that due to how big the file sizes are and the way the calculator's archive storage works, you can't fill it up like normal computers. The most pictures I've been able to fit on a single calculator is 30. You'll be able to send smaller size files even if you can't send any more pictures though. Alright, now that you've got the files on your calculator, Here's how the, you run and use the program. Just press the program button, then scroll down to HDPICV and click enter twice. If you get a syntax error, then you have an outdated calculator. Click on the card above for how to update. When you start the program, it will search for all the images on your calculator. Once it's finished, it'll automatically go to the main menu. To the left, you'll see a list of all the names of the pictures you sent to your calculator, along with a thumbnail to the right. The up and down arrow keys move the cursor to scroll through all the images you sent to your calculator. You can see at most 16 image names at once. If you have more than 16, just keep scrolling down until you reach that name. Notice the thumbnails change depending on the name you've selected. When your cursor is over the image you want to view, press second or enter to view it in full screen. From here you can still use the up and down arrow keys to scroll through images. Alternatively, you can press Y equals or graph. Press clear to go back to the main menu. Press clear again to quit the program. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for downloading my program. If you have any questions or concerns, please comment below. I'll get to it whenever I get the chance. Have a good day.